Dr. Saravanan, we'll start. Uh, Mr. Madan Gobel is on the line. Ah, yes, sir. Madan, sir. Ah, yes. Yes, sir. Can we start the program, sir? Yeah, sir, please. Yes, yes. The principal, sir, we can start, sir. Good morning, all the pharma graduates, budding pharma graduates, faculty members from the various institutions, the invited guest, Mr. Madan Gobal, and all my supporting team. On behalf of the management of MNR College of Pharmacy, Sri MN Rajagoru Chairman, and Sri Ravi Varmagaru Vice Chairman, I wholeheartedly welcome all the participants to this uh, fourth day of the Students Development Program on the Career Opportunities for Pharma Graduates. The last three days went on very well with a huge response from the various part, uh, type of participants almost throughout the India. The first day we had a wonderful session with uh, the Vice Chancellor of the Delhi Pharmaceuticals Sciences and Research, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Ramesh Goyal, who has explained an overview of the uh, career opportunities for pharma graduates. And in the second day, we had a good session with uh, Dr. Rao Varlamudi, who was the editor of Indian Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences, explained clearly what is scientific writing and how to prepare for a, a good journal about the research work or the review article. Similarly, yesterday, for our young graduates, uh, career opportunities for career studies in uh, abroad has been mainly explained by, by Dr. Raja Salaman very well in a very simple way that is easy to follow. Similarly, we have an excellent uh, speaker from uh, that is from Bangalore, Census Pharmaceuticals, Mr. Madana Gobal, who is a sales manager and sales manager having a vast experience in the sales and marketing. We have invited him in order to throw some light on the pharma graduates who are looking for the opportunities in the sales and marketing also. We come across some of the students who want the lucrative salary after the graduation. So when we look for that uh, immediate, uh, uh, that is earning, sales and marketing, one of the best uh, department I can say. So when we thought of these things in detail, Mr. Madanagopal, we got him and he has accepted our invitation without any hesitation. So he came very voluntarily and to say that uh, whatever the uh, things that we are doing, he also accepted, he appreciated and and he has helped us to join and present this, uh, uh, that is talk on the sales and marketing, the ocean of opportunities for pharma graduates. So with my, Mr. Madana Gobal, I think we have the best lesson today for many of the graduates who are trying to earn immediately after the graduation. So now I request uh, Dr. Jay Prakash say, to say a few words about the MNR College of Pharmacy before going into the session. Uh, Dr. Jay, Jay Prakas. Thank you, sir. Yes. So, welcome all our uh, participants. It's my uh, privilege to introduce our MNR College of Pharmacy to the participants. MNR College of Pharmacy established in the year of 2014 for AACD and PCI. Affiliated to Manya University, Hyderabad. We are offering courses B Farm, Farm D, M Farm. Farm D post baccalaureate. And also, we are having the state of arts pharmaceutical laboratories. And we are having more than 10,000 volume of specialized books in our library. And also, subscription of journals and digital library facility to improve the students' education quality. And also, we are uh, appreciating the students to involve in many co curricular activities like conference, guest lectures industrial research, and also we are encouraging the students to participate in extracurricular activity, cultural and sports activities. And also we are working with more than uh, 50 teaching faculty, among them 20 faculties with PhD qualification. 
and also I have to mention our uh, college principal sir, Dr. V. Alagar Swami, uh, his uh, distinct achievements. He is working in the Samana College of Pharmacy since 2007 with 23 years of teaching and research experience. And he is one of the recipients of the AIMS Scientist Award from the Department of Science and Technology. And also he is a member of the ACT subject expert in all India Board of Pharmacy Education. And also a member of the Board of Studies, Osmania University, and member of New York Academy of Science. And he's published more than 150 plus paper, research papers, and he's one of the editor of anti-infective agents, Bentham Science International Journals. And um, he's having authored six books, having one patent on new drug molecule. And he's recognized as PhD gate in uh, various uh, universities, JNTU Hyderabad, Osmania University, SRU, Sastra University, and also Katpagam University. And um, we are doing the special initiatives for improving the students' quality, coaching for university rank, placement facility, personality development, career counseling, and also we are doing coaching for IS studies, um, for NIPER, GATE, uh, GPAD, etc. And also we are gaining for foreign university admissions for MS and PhDs. And also we have to mention our uh, chairman, sir, Sri M.N. Raju Garu, is a favorite uh, quotation, education without discipline is of no use. So we are considering that, so education and discipline is of two eyes. So we are giving a favorable environment for the st student studies and no distraction for studies. And also we are uh, giving individual care, taking for individual students and also we are maintaining the SMS system for absentees and every month progress report. And also we are maintaining the self-respect each and every one. And also we are providing the less cost of education. And also we are providing free concession for the meritorious students. And now I'm thank you. And uh, I'll hand over this session to our principal sir, Dr. Alagar Swami sir. Sir, please sir. So thank you, Dr. Jay Prakash. Uh, now I request Dr. Saravanan to introduce the today's speaker because he is uh, the close friend uh, to Dr. Saravanan. I request uh, Dr. Saravanan to uh, introduce Mr. Madhanan Gopal to the uh, audience. Dr. Saravanan, please. Thank you, sir. It is a great day for me that um, I got this great opportunity to introduce uh, one of my senior uh, who's guided me in my college days. When I was studying on a B pharmacy, he was my senior and he guided me in a lot of way. And from that day onwards, we have an touch with Anna more than 20 years. And he's not only my senior, he's my well-wisher as well as my family friend also. And uh, when I was approaching um, for this particular uh, webinar, he immediately accepted. And in the last one week, he was in continuous touch with me and he was uh, discussing with me that uh, this point is okay, can we discuss these things? Or is, do you need to discuss any other things to the students like that? In his busy schedule also, he was uh, constantly touch with me and he was uh, uh, discussing all those things. And yesterday night also, uh, between uh, 9.30 to 10, 10 o'clock, half an hour, we get discussed uh, regarding the things, how we can, what the points uh, which can we can tell to this uh, young pharma graduate. So he was uh, very enthusiastic and uh, on behalf of that MNR College of Pharmacy, I was very thankful to that uh, my senior, Mr. M. Madhana Gopal. And I'm very happy to once again that to introduce my senior to this uh, August gathering. So Mr. Madhana Gopal, who is having an experienced practical and result-oriented marketing and sales specialist in farm and hospital domain for more than 20 years. And he completed his B pharmacy in JKK Muniraja Medical Research Foundation in Kumaravaliam, affiliated to Tamil Nadu Dr. NGR Medical University in the year 1998. He also completed his PG diploma in pharmaceutical marketing in the management in Pondicherry University. He's having a leadership skill and uh, which was very essential for that uh, marketing people. And he has uh, so many achievements in these 20 years. Hence, only in this short uh, 20 years span of uh, things, he became a uh, general manager for the sales. And in that micro labs limiter, he was, got a uh, trading awards for the best product knowledge. 
and he launched a new division called micro lumira he is a top regional sales performer when he was working in that micro labs limited a later he was moved to that dr agarwal sai hospital where he given a in house and field trainee for an a sales team he created an a strong sales force in the bangalore and tamil nadu for that dr agarwal sai hospital and later in that startup companies called skyros pharmaceutical llp he worked as an a ground level and formed an a team for that skyros pharmaceutical llp now currently he was in sensex pharmaceutical private limited and where he registered his company and got an a license uh, in that swaziland which is an a south african uh, country and he getting an a constant business from that uh, swaziland country and he won that government deal also in that swaziland a south african company south african nation and now he is a field trainer and he giving an a trainee for an a uh, people who are working in this uh, census pharmaceutical limited he is having an a vast working experience and he started his career in the year 2000 as a representative within a short span of an a 7 years he became a territory manager in that same company micro labs limited later he joined as an a uh, regional manager in the year 2008 in the dr agarwal sai hospital again within that short 7 Uh, years of that period he became a zonal manager in that dr agarwal sai hospital and later uh, in the year 2015 to 2018 he worked as a sales manager in the skyros pharmaceutical llp in that uh, area of karnataka and tamil nadu and from that 2018 onwards he became an a general manager for sales in sensex pharmaceutical limited and he is covering a karnataka tamil nadu kerala gujarat and rajasthan and five regions as well as because of his hard work and continuous efforts in that census pharmaceutical itself he is an a country cat for swaziland and uh, which is called as an a south african country so i think that we chosen an a right person and who became an a, a role model for an a, a all young uh, pharma people who want to become or who want to start their career in that pharma uh, sales and marketing and definitely this particular session will be an a i opening session in that i will tell an 100% sure and all you people will get an a more about this sales and marketing and with this an a uh, small introduction now i am requesting mr m madanagobal sir to hand over this session please sir and mr madanagobal sir thank you dr saravanan yes, thank, uh, you. thank you very much uh, for the brief uh, introduction it's my great pleasure and honor to be a part of this uh, wonderful uh, seminars for the budding uh, pharmacist i take this opportunity to thank and appreciate the effort taking by the mnr uh, college of pharmacy and it's a great initiative by the mnr uh, college of uh, pharmacy management uh, i express my sincere thanks to uh, sri Uh, mn raju garu chairman mnr uh, group of uh, institutional institutions and uh, mr ravi verma uh, vice chairman and uh, and the main pillar of this uh, event dr v alagar sami principal mnr college of pharmacy uh, dr psc bose vice principal and uh, special thanks to professor dr saravanan uh, mnr college of pharmacy and dr jay prakash associate professor with this note i take this uh, opportunity to take my uh, presentation can you please uh, share uh, dr sarvana yeah slide sharing uh, dr sarvana you are uh, you have to unmute yourself sir madan sir yeah you can you can share from your uh, system itself sir that may be more convenient sir yeah yeah i you please share ah yes sir we we gave on a permission you can share your screen sir yeah now you able to see yes sir yes sir we can able to see sir yeah good morning young budding pharmacist do you know all of them 
yes all are well well familiar celebrities see nt ramarao garu former chief minister andhra pradesh and uh, amitabh bachchan chiranjeev garu allu arjun garu vijay and kajal agarwal they all are known for acting public figure they are ruling the cinema industry in fact indian film industry they, they are dominating in fact and they become a crorepati now do you know them any idea no sir no all idea sir all are senior personalities yes they are giants of indian pharma industries i'll start with a small story uh dr indravadan modi and uh, ramana bai patel they all are very good friends friends uh, they were working as a chemist uh, they are belongs to gujarat ahmedabad 1951 they started a small uh, pharmaceutical company called uh, kedila pharmaceutical uh, based at ahmedabad with the uh, there is a cycle called tricycle you all are aware of that the tricycle they used to sell their uh, uh, medicines to nearby uh, villages uh, grape water all these items they used to keep in the tricycle they used to go to nearby uh, towns like uh, rajkot vadora <laughs> jamnagar uh, surat all the 30 days they used to be in market every day they used to be in uh, different different uh, uh, places they used to sell this uh, their product and now they become the top the entire world is looking at him looking at uh, ideology he is the founder of serum institute of india and uh, he is a uh, 12th man in the richest country in, in india and uh, almost 140 countries he is exporting uh, serum products to the world now this pandemic situation the entire world is watching dr cyrus ponavala and their team activities and another very imp- in- interesting and important personality dr k anjareddy founder of dr reddy's laboratories 1984 before that he was a chemist 1984 he started his uh, company called dr Re- uh, reddy's laboratories now dr reddy's laboratories almost 1200 crores per year turnover and another very interesting and inspiring personality is dr babu mogan singh founder of rainbox laboratories yeah they all are known as a good human being and they are dominating the indian pharmaceutical companies now now kerala around 7000 crore per annum uh, dr reddy is almost 11000 crore company per year now you understand if you take around uh, 100 people in india uh, top indian business people you forget uh, cinema actor you forget Uh, business people you forget politician you, you forget uh, uh, politician you forget the sportsmen out of 100 uh, businessmen out of 100 people 50 people are from pharmaceutical con- industries we may not aware all these things we always attracted by the sportsmen we always attracted by the cine uh, industries but whereas in 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 our own industry almost 50 percentage of uh, top richest crore pati all are belongs to pharma industries so pharma is always gold mine it's a gold mine in fact we actually uh, you should be thankful uh, to your parents because they choose a right path uh, for your uh, career pharmacy the moment you complete your uh, graduation the next day there is a huge opportunities are available in the uh, in india in fact if you can consider before pandemic after pandemic after now uh, situation one year uh, before this uh, biotechnology was underrated 
now uh, after this corona all of sudden this biotechnology department itself it's grooming like anything once this pandemic situation is over the the world may not require uh, software engineer they may not require uh, civil engineer but they want a good pharmacist i think you you should be all budding students you should be thankful to your parents you should be thankful to your teacher right away with this uh, great indian pharma industries i take this opportunity to present uh, the wars and opportunities for pharma graduates the key to success is consistency and positive habits this is just to overview uh, global pharma almost 93480 crore the crore means 880 plus 93480 crores the the world global market is 93480 crore size pharma size in that the, the world is growing 5.8 percentage by this field by this speed if we go we may end around 1 lakh 18 lakh 18 crore whereas in indian pharma market 12073 crore per annum turnover means indian pharma company we are almost contributing 13 percentage towards to the uh, world uh, global pharma and we are growing uh, 12 percentage now earlier uh, europe countries us countries they are dominating the pharma industry now the, the now pharma means now india is going to be a big hub for all uh, countries maybe in another 5 years pharma indian pharma is going to be a great leader for the entire world so uh, in in world itself it's growing 5.8 percentage whereas indian pharma growing country growing 12 percentage almost double of the speed we are moving so as a pharmacy student definitely we have a huge scope right now evaluation of uh, hospital industry uh, now you guys all are uh, 2k kids you may not uh, know Uh, we all are uh, 80s kids 90s kids this two k kids you may not uh, aware what is uh, family physician uh, concept uh, 20 25 years before when we were uh, sick when we were uh, we are not feeling well we used to go to our family physician he is the one doctor he used to practice corner of the street with a small uh, table with a dim light whatever may be we go to him only we used to take his uh, consultation even for a family problem we, we used to go to a uh, family doctor only that time family physician was ruling the uh, country in many of many of our family the family physician used to give a suggestion now uh, after uh, 2000 this family physician concept to become a multi specialty hospital from 2000 to 2010 exactly it happened from 2004 after globalization this multi specialty hospital uh, concept came to india multi specialty uh, hospital means different specialty practice in the one hospital like dermatologist pediatrician gynecologist ent doctor eye doctor all these specialty doctors they used to practice in a single hospital that is called multi specialty hospital like uh, apollo hospital fortis hospital a global hospital all these hospitals they grown in the period of 2000 to 2010 the real healthcare sectors grow started in the after 2000 after exactly after 2004 after the uh, globalization now the scenario is completely changed now now the multi specialty hospital uh, sector is moved to super specialty hospital uh, super specialty means for a simple example i can quote dermatologist 10 years before 20 years before dermatology means it's normal humble uh, polite kind of doctors he used to practice in a small place with one table and one uh, magnifying glass that is the maximum investment uh, for any dermatologist now no more uh, dermatologist usually dermatologists used to treat uh, allergy patients and uh, uh, skin rises psoriasis kind of patients now the dermatologists the industry grown into next level now there is no dermatologist now they become a cosmetologist 
they become a trichologist they have a sub, now they, they they started a separate hospital for the uh, uh, skin department same like uh, ophthalmologist the smallest part in our body is eye ophthalmologist in this eye there are seven different uh, departments cornea specialist cataract surgeons glaucoma surgeons um, uh, vitreoretinal surgeons pediatric and squint surgeons and uh, neuro ophthalmologist now this multi specialty hospital slowly uh, migrated to super specialty we can call it as uni specialty 20 years before 10 years before there is there may not be a uh, eye hospital or a dermatologist eye hospital they used to have a small clinic now in one small one window one share one uh, shelter there are different kind of specialties are there you can take it as a example Uh, LV Prasad Eye Hospital, Aravind Eye Hospital, Agarwal Eye Hospital, Vasanayak. There are many unispecialty hospitals come up. And for a kidney, they have a separate eye hospitals, uh, eye foundation. There is a lot of all from head to toe, the different specialty hospitals are. when the hospital industry is growing parallelly our pharma industry is also growing it's kind of brother sister kind of understanding usually able to hear uh, dr saravana uh, no problem sir very good well. yeah yeah it's well audible sir no problem sir carry on sir okay sir okay sir so career uh, prospects for pharma students so when we completed like 98 99 when we completed our pharmacy Uh, we have very few options um, dr alagar sami sir will agree with me once we completed our pharma i can start my own pharmacy i can uh, join as a hospital pharmacist in a hospital or i can go as a medical representative i can go into manufacturing plant or i can go for a higher education now the industry the complete scenario we can go for a pharmaceutical manufacturing regulatory affairs quality control medical right pharmacist pharmaco vigilance there are different opportunities are there for the pharma graduates this is a small study uh, pharma students uh, preferences so out of 100 students when they completed their uh, uh, graduation out of 100 people 35 people are preferring uh, sales and marketing job either uh, students preference or company pre preference but 35 percentage of students are going into sales and marketing uh, industry out of 65 percentage out of 100 65 percentage of people are preferring other uh segments like uh, higher educations m farm entrepreneur medical pharma uh, clinical pharmacist pharma industry manufacturing unit clinical research d farm teaching b farm farm d medical shop but out of 65 out of 100 35 50 percentage of people are preferring to go to sales line either uh, industries demand or uh, students demand the sales and marketing always uh, a uh, huge scope for the newcomer so sales and marketing it's we are we are standing outside and just we are knocking the door for our students we want to uh, get the students we want actually industry wants uh, pharmacy students sales and marketing explain with a small example what is sales and what is marketing marketing means when you want to buy a, a vegetable if you go to market if you get the vegetable that is called marketing the same vendor vegetable vendor if he comes to your house sell his uh, vegetables it's called sales it's a, it's sales and marketing is always a very big subject but similarity uh, will be there if i go on go to market i get the uh, vegetables is called marketing the same vegetable vendor comes to my house is called sales like 
demart reliance uh, fresh so many uh, if i go to nilgiris that is called marketing the same groceries uh, big basket through big basket if i uh, through big basket it comes to my house is yes so who is mr means a medical representative universally it's called mr means medical representative in it it differs from company to company company some companies they call it as a sales representative sales representative some companies they call it as a professional sales representative marketing officer medical officer it differs from company to company but universally they known as a medical representative usually uh, medical representative means uh, multi multiple task what actually mr means 50 percentage doctor 50 percentage of uh, pharmacist wealthy wise uh, educated in in india and uh, as a medical representative we are going to meet a highly qualified person so before going to meet the doctor medical representative means meet the doctors medical before meeting the doctors we should be equipped with the knowledge so for any company medical representatives are the face of the company because for any companies like kedila sipla dr reddy's uh, micro labs torrent all which ever the company so they will not come and meet the direct doctor through their knowledge they will educate the students through the uh, i mean students means uh, mr through the mrs only they will promote their products to doctor so for for any companies medical representatives are the face of the company so so, so many time uh, medical representatives they used to teach to the doctors like what is mechanism of action what is adverse reaction where uh, uh, absorptions are happening where the excretions are happening so all these things they used to uh, teach to the uh, doctors uh, 15 20 years before medical representative means uh, well dressed neat and uh, highly qualified and they can speak a good uh, communication skill these are the standard uh, protocol for the medical representative 15 20 years before uh, we as a medical representative uh, we used to have uh, almost if i have around 70 products in our portfolio we all know about the 70 products uh, complete uh, knowledge and the 70 products competitor uh, brand and product selection everything uh, we completely thorough uh, we used to have a thorough knowledge about the complete products but the time changes everything it's it's changing now uh, current market scenario it's actually is a bitter truth uh, market saturation heavy competition part time job kind of uh, mentality lack of loyalty in mr lack, lack of knowledge in mr arts and uh, pe mba they started uh, occupied the market what happened earlier uh, pharma companies they used to give a more time more energy more uh, Uh, training to the uh, medical representative we used to give around 15 to 30 days 45 days we used to give a training to the uh, students 
i mean uh, medical representatives we give more importance to uh, for the training we give a, a knowledge to the medical representative used to give a training but now uh, that things are happening because of uh, other other graduates uh, they started penetrating in fact uh, we pharma companies we want to select the pharma graduates some of uh, unfortunately pharma students are not uh, coming uh, forward to join as a sales representative other companies like other specialties other graduation bbk bcom ba students it's very unfortunate uh, mba in my team there are three uh, engineering students are working in, in my bangalore team and i have another uh, i recently i received almost 10 uh, resumes those these guys are were working in uh, swaggy and uh, other online marketing they lost the job now they want to uh, come to medical representative they don't have any knowledge about pharma but they want because there is a huge demand in uh, pharma industry if uh, pharmacy students don't uh, occupy this place other people are uh, they are started dominating the industry why they all are uh, preferring to medical representative other graduates why they are uh, they why they want to become a medical representative yeah become student want to become a uh, medical representative or be engineering student want to become a medical representative and mba uh, student want to become a medical representative the the simple factor is attraction why why uh, attraction mr job is attraction at medical mr attraction by other graduates because of the salary 24 bar 7 365 days medical representative job is open but there is a huge demand actually we want uh, medical uh, pharma graduates to come to sales profession when you complete uh, if i receive 10 resume first we will see the qualification not even uh, uh, 10 uh, not even one b pharmacy students are not coming sales uh, representative job nowadays we used to get uh, uh, other uh, subject uh, graduates they are preparing medical representative because for them uh, part time job uh, that's what i explained in the earlier uh, slide pharmacy student if i go to sales uh, line for me is a it's a life is for me it's a career i have to go i have my growth will be in sales line only but whereas ba bcom mba students if they come to uh, medical representative job just for a time being time being they will be uh, working maybe two months three months six months one month they spoil in fact they are not not loyal to the company or else uh, for them it's not a career just for a time pass they used to come to uh, medical representative job whereas pharmacy students for them for us it's a it's a for us medical representative life is a life because of the excess salary because of the uh, other attraction because of the demand other graduates are penetrating to a medical representative uh, job this it's a, it's a really bitter truth in earlier we have a thorough knowledge 10 to 15 years before we used to have a thorough knowledge about the product but now current scenario for any medical representative packing whether it is 5 ml or 10 ml or 10 packs or 100 strips or 500 ml 200 ml and uh, they know the, the basic signs and symptoms of the medicine that's all even the companies are not ready to uh, give more importance uh, of the uh, for the training because of the uh, loyalty by the gr uh, graduates other graduates but whereas if you take uh, salary package just for a fresher those who are completed their around 15000 rupees is the basic salary for any any graduates 
and if you if we selected in a top 10 uh, top 50 top 100 companies the salary will be uh, will be around 20 to 25000 rupees if he join in a multinational company minimum 30000 rupees per month and it's definitely a very good salary for any any kind of uh, job so that much huge opportunities are there but the preference by the pharmaceutical pharmacy students are nowadays it's it's not they are not preferring because of the uh, lifestyle or uh, attracted by some other jobs not only salary along with the salary they used to get uh, incentives rewards uh, uh, convenience allowances growth is very very fast uh, compared to any any industry uh, in sales industry if you choose the sales industry your career growth will be uh, faster than any other uh, industry compared to any other industry because a huge market space is there huge big big vacuum is there that's why we always suggest to farmer students next day you can get the job for example if you completed your course july 31st august 1st you can get a job that much demand is there in pharma uh, sales medical representative job not only sales any sales and marketing uh, industry so i always suggest to students for at, at least don't waste your not even a single day don't waste your time there are so many companies looking for a uh, right people huge market space is there so this is the usually uh, career growth path for medical representative so if forget about the organogram like medical representative area manager regional manager zonal manager general manager vice president see that is different what i suggest to uh, any uh, students or any uh, industrialist first three years you don't change the company come what may go three years stick with the company same company so all the companies may not good all the companies same time all the companies may not bad you at least three years you have to spend your time in a single company then only you will grow your career will be in a right track for any uh, person age between 21 to 26 this five years are very very crucial this five years what you are going to do in your life that will decide your next 25 to 30 years so the first 21st to 26 that five years are very very crucial so i always advise my uh, colleagues don't keep on change the company stick with the company at least three years you will get a numerous uh, knowledge you will get a huge respect in the company so i started my career as a medical representative to 2000 i started my career 2007 till 7 years i was working as a medical representative so if company is bad i may not stick with this company correct if the company is uh, if i am not if i am bad company will not keep uh, with the uh, organization so everywhere problem uh, pressure will be there you have to adjust your lifestyle wherever you go you have to work you have to perform medical representative job is to perform the uh, sales correct so what i suggest along with the uh, work uh, you start pursuing uh, mba or one year uh, uh, executive mba kind of courses when you joined a pharma medical representative you work with 3 years you don't change the company first first 3 years and part time you start doing mba so after third fourth year you yourself groom and maybe industry and your company may make you to perform and you can go as a area manager and you can take additional responsibilities see usually medical representative means uh, to meet the doctor to make the uh, products available to achieve the target and uh, keep the sufficient stocks in the distributor level to implement the company strategy uh, to organize the uh, meeting uh, for doctor this is the normal uh, role and responsibility of uh, medical representatives usually medical representative uh, they will uh, take care of uh, four to five districts they will be placed in the one town they will take care of around uh, 
three to four districts. When you promote as the area sales manager, under uh, area sales manager, maximum thirty to forty percentage salary will be hiked from medical representative to area manager. Minimum thirty percentage hike salary will be there uh, for a area manager. Area manager means he will be responsible for under his there will be a three to four uh, medical representatives. So his role is to make them to perform. So if you have along with uh, work experience with the MBA, uh, you will get a additional promotion, additional increment also in the coming. I will explain in a better way in the coming slide. So after area manager, if you have if you work uh, uh, as area manager in two to three years in a reputed company, you can join as a regional manager in another some other company. Definitely, area manager and regional manager. There will be another thirty to fifty percentage salary hike will be there. So, my advice is don't keep on change the company. You work what three years, four years, whatever may be. You work. You put your real effort. Start learning. Not don't waste not even a single day. Start studying uh, parallelly. There are now when we were in a medical profession, we don't have much. Uh, uh, Opportunities now. Everything is available in our doorstep. One of my colleague, when I was a medical representative in the year 2002, my uh, colleague he asked me, "What what is your uh, goal? What what are you going to do?" And I said, "Sir, I am getting good salary, sir. I am getting good incentive, sir. Life is going, sir. How long you can be a medical representative? How many years you are going to do a same job?" And he initiated me to uh, make me to join in a. Uh, Kind of, at that time, it was a certificate course, one 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 year certificate course called pharmaceutical marketing manage management. Now nowadays there are many many uh, you know, universities they are offering one year uh, executive MBA and uh, distance education. Start learning, start uh, pursuing uh, additional uh, qualification. So there will be a huge if you put your effort in. Ten years in the industry, that industry will take you into next level. First three years, don't see anything. Work, work, work. Simultaneously, start studying. Next, another the next third twenty-five to thirty years of your life will take care of by these three years. Now, the another uh, altogether different topic is marketing sales. we discussed sales medical representative what they are doing this marketing you means this mainly uh, female uh, pharmacists they can prefer this uh, job that is called as uh, pmt product management team for any uh, big uh, pharmaceutical companies uh, all top pharmaceutical companies they used to have at least 50 to 100 pmt for uh, zone wise Product wise, they used to recruit. Uh, depends upon the company size. They used to keep uh, around hundred PMT. Uh, uh, that PMT means the product management team. Preferably, uh, ladies, uh, female graduates, they can prepare this uh, job. What is their main role of uh, marketing uh, PMT team? They design the strategy. what to talk to doctors they uh, those who are interested in the taking the class those who are having a good communication skill those who want to uh, become a uh, maybe academic oriented they want to they can't be able to go you can join as a uh, product management team you can train the people that's very biggest role uh, marketing department pmt department is going to help brand strategy which product how to attack where to attack when to attack some medicines seasonal uh, products some medicines uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, for example seasonal allergies nasal winter season they, many people they used to get a cold fever kind of uh, problem so according to the season according to the uh, market size this pmt department they plan the strategy they train the people they uh, insist the uh, field force to do field insist the field force to implement the strategy to the doctors level to the market level so brand strategy 
new molecule identification now there are so many uh, antibiotic itself you take second generation third generation fourth generation now fourth generation fluoroquinolones are coming up in the market all these new molecules are uh, identified by the uh, marketing uh, pmt exhibitors and market potential analysis product training uh, field stops this is very interesting uh, thing they can conduct periodically they used to conduct a training program for the uh, field stops for a group of people for the group of state people for group of specialty people so these pmt people always occupied with the uh, training program majorly and another very important things competitor activity analysis so this is very important what the competitors are doing what is their price how what is their uh, unique point uh, uh, what is their advantage to sell this product everything is analyzed by the marketing uh, people and the brand communication uh, medical count uh, content writing uh, for thesis writing uh, lbl preparation lbl means leave behind card to after meeting the doctors to hand over the uh, output uh, called lbl so that medical content writing is all uh, everything uh, uh, written by the pmt department so national international uh, business strategy they can plan so after uh, this are nowadays uh, for this marketing mba students are uh, most preferably mba students are preparing this job after completion of uh, their bba become some nowhere later to uh, pharmacy they done their mba and they are occupying the uh, industry and very well salary is uh, offering this job but unfortunately uh, many uh, pharma graduates they are not coming uh, forward this kind of uh, they are not ready to take it up this kind of job it's actually this is meant for uh, pharmacy students if you work as a medical representative in a field 3 years with along with uh, one mba certificate you can approach you can apply uh, if you have a uh, passion of teaching if you have a passion of analytical uh, thinking you can approach uh, this marketing department pmt department there is a huge scope uh, is there pmt so now i'll come to hospital segments uh, we are already discuss about the sales and marketing uh, i have uh, three presentations one is sales and marketing another one is hospital segment third one is tpa the hospital segments i i already explained how the healthcare sector is uh, grown in last 20 years last two decades how the healthcare sector is grown uh, usually any hospital pharma graduates they go as a hospital pharmacist or uh, uh, administrative posting so after b pharm some may they do a hospital administration mba hospital administration they can be as a uh, hospital administration job for a hospital pharmacist they may get 15 to 18000 rupees uh, regular work standard work morning 9 to 5 something there is a slot to uh, duty slot is there but a sales representative is a huge demand it's the upcoming market now it's there is a difference between uh, medical representative and hospital sales representative medical representative means you are selling medicines to doctors you are promoting a, uh, medicines to doctor whereas in a hospital segment hospital we have to sell the um, disease to the doctors concept uh, disease means uh, like knee transplantation surgery now now there are so many multi specialty hospitals so many uni specialty so many super specialty hospitals are there in in india in every town every uh, uh, city 
uh, at least uh, 10 to 15 multi specialty hospitals or 10 to 15 uni specialty hospitals is there for this kind of uh, job uh, sales uh, representative hospital sales representative they used to go and promote the uh, disease to the doctors to create awareness about the disease through doctors for example knee transplantation there are so many techniques so many advancement uh, so many uh, medicines available uh, surgical techniques are available and uh, for example lasik surgery uh, those who are wearing spectacles after this surgery uh, spectacles may not recover this kind of product uh, this is you can promote to the uh, hospitals it's another untapped market uh, this medical representative uh, pharma graduates they can approach the job for the uh, hospital sales representative they used, they used to have around three to five years experience with the MBA certificate. Now the current salary package, it starts with 35,000 rupees. The real, real this is a ground, ground rea reality. Come, hospitals are ready to pay because so many carpenters hospitals are there. They are ready to offer even 35 to 40,000 rupees for a normal uh, hospital promotional executive job. Apollo hospital, Fortis hospital, global hospital, uh, there are many hospitals are coming up uh, in uh, in uh, each and every town hospital cities. So this is the right why why medical representative want to uh, become a hospital sales representative because now at present currently uh, become BBA you know, other specialty uh, other graduates uh, medical representative other BBA become medical representative they become a hospital representative. If I'm a uh, interviewer, if I uh, want to take a medical uh, hospital sales representative, if I have a five, 10 biodata, I will go through it, right? If the person is coming with the B pharmacy, if the person is coming with uh, BBA, if the, the person is uh, MBA background, if the person is coming with uh, BSc chemistry, whatever it may be. If, but I prefer pharmacy students because for them, uh, this medical terminology is very, very tough. They may not, uh, these other uh, graduates, they may not spell out the disease name, unfortunately. They may not, sclerosis, the sclerosis word, they may not pronounce properly. Rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, they cannot pronounce properly. Sclera, sometimes they, for them, it's, it's kind of a job. Whereas pharmacy students, they are well versed with the uh, medical terminology, uh, well versed with the disease and basic knowledge about the anatomy physiology. So these pharmacy uh, graduates are, are red carpet, uh, hospitals are red carpet welcome they are preferring, uh, providing. So they can choose hospital pharmacist, hospital uh, sales representative job. Huge scope is there. For that to minimum, nowadays many uh, uh, HR, uh, HR uh, managers, they are looking for a MBA uh, graduation. If you come with the B pharmacy with the MBA, definitely, uh, definitely, definitely HR will prefer pharmacy students. There is a big vacuum is there. And a huge money is, uh, huge package is there in the uh, hospital pharmacy, hospital sales representative industry. And another very important subject now, medical tourism is a very big, uh, vast uh, um, subject. Now, for a medical tourism, managing the patients, managing the disease, for that, pharmacy students are hot cake. You can approach. But nowadays, uh, they, they are looking for a minimum experience, at least two to three years experience. If you work as a medical representative uh, with the MBA certificate, Maybe in another uh, three, four years, you can become a hospital. You can uh, accommodate to hospitals. You will get a 35 to 42 rupees salary. And compared to sales representative, your work will be, uh, workload will be less. Money nine to six, not much uh, tension work. Very sophisticated work, hospital sales representative. So another very, very interesting topic, uh, health insurance uh, segments. 
so in in uh, 20 years before uh, uh, the indian population 1 percentage of people uh, they used to have a uh, insurance out of 130 crore uh, population uh, 20 years before around 100 crore only 1 percentage of people they used to have a uh, health insurance that time um, only four companies were dominating the industry national insurance new india insurance united india insurance and oriental insurance only these four companies are were dominating the uh, healthcare uh, insurance now after 2000 to 2010 uh, exactly again 2004 2005 many companies are uh, started uh, investing on uh, insurance one side because of it sector growth uh, health insurance uh, growth i mean health insurance sector itself it started uh, growing before 2095 1995 to 2000 only 1 percentage of population they used to have a health insurance uh, card holder but in 2000 to 2010 almost 25 24 percentage of uh, uh, people uh, they have a insurance uh, cards now now current scenario in 2020 Uh, more than 64 percentage of uh, uh, people are having insurance uh, card holders. So where uh, 20 years before that's only one percentage. Now in 20 years, 64 percentage of total population of people they are having the insurance uh, card. In many states uh, uh, like a Telangana, Arogya Street, Arogya Street uh, insurance for the uh, below poverty. for the uh, limited people and in andhra pradesh arogya raksha like this there are 27 uh, insurance companies are uh, dominating in india like the media assist uh, vidal ttk md india apollo munis there are so many insurance companies uh, are in, in uh, dominating in, in uh, healthcare industry so in health insurance segments there are three kind of job opportunities for pharmacy students one is corporate hospitals second one is uh, health insurance company third one is uh, license officer for any multi specialty hospitals of any uh, 30 bedded 50 bedded 100 bedded 300 bedded hospitals med- now cashless treatment is grooming go- it's grooming up very well out of 100 uh, patients 64 pay- percentage of people they will come with the card cashless they will go for a cashless treatment only 36 percentage of people are paying cash so to manage the 64 percentage of people in every hospital they are appointing a health care tpa coordinators third party administrative officer so when you complete a b pharmacy when you uh, apply uh, third party tpa uh, coordinator there is a huge scope for tpa segment for example the this tpa coordinators are the bridge between the hospital and the insurance uh, companies for for any hospital at least minimum uh, 50 to 100 50 to 75 tpa coordinators are required now at present bcom uh, accounting uh, students uh, bba accounting students are dominating this uh, job if you approach uh, a pharmacy students if you approach the uh, tpa coordinator job definitely definitely you are going to be the uh, ideal choice because you are pharmacy students are well versed with the disease well versed with the medical terminology and well versed with the basic knowledge of about the anatomy physiology so this for tpa coordinators is ideally for the ladies now uh, big hospitals they are offering 22 to 26000 this is a minimum uh, pay scale for this uh, job professional job profession for tpa coordinators usually uh, ladies uh, female uh, pharmacists can approach this uh, corporate hospitals as a tpa coordinators very uh, only, only thing uh, you 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 will be fully occupied if you work in 8 hours you will be fully occupied 
in this job and another second segment is uh, health insurance companies corporate hospital health insurance so health insurance there are i told you already 27 to 28 uh, insurance companies are there so in every state every district every town uh, this health insurance companies they will appoint a, a candidate in all over uh, towns they will coordinate uh, with the hospitals hospital tpa coordinators to reimburse the payment uh, to check the uh, case studies like the patient is uh, is the patient is provided all the blood investigation is the patient is provided all the uh, bills everything the, this auditing job pharmacy students are uh, most demandable uh, most de- more demand now nowadays in in uh, health insurance companies another uh, very interesting uh, opportunities in a license officer license officer means for example any big corporates uh, those who are having 100 to 500 1000 5000 employees those who are having uh, manpower for example ibm uh, infosys if you take it infosys there are 5000 employees are working in the uh, hyderabad city just imagine so for 5000 employees the ibm or infosys uh, just i'm quoting the name it companies they are providing the uh, insurance cashless to all the Uh, employees the hr manager will monitor all the uh, this thing this hr manager will appoint one license officer to all the industries all, all the uh, uh, companies so this license officer will coordinate with uh, all the employees if uh, if at all if i am working in an infosys company i my my wife or my kid got uh, admitted in hospital i will not approach to the Uh, direct uh, hr manager i will approach to the license officer this license officer will help uh, to get a, uh, a hospital ad- admission to create a bill all the pre approval pre uh, approval everything this uh, um, uh, license officer will do so why pharmacy students are uh, more uh, demand because of their knowledge this job anyone can do but if a pharmacy student if you prefer that job it is very easy to coordinate all these things because you are well versed with the disease well versed with the medical terminology and uh, the basic you have a basic knowledge about the medicine now this is another uh, uh, very important uh, industry segment is coming up very important effective communication communication is very very uh, important any when you join any uh, companies you have required uh, communication skill but if you want to grow further definitely you have to have a good communication skill part time mba this what i am insisting from beginning if you have a if you have a mba it is another visiting card to get a uh, promotion and another very important always look for a profile uh, don't see the package see uh, what happen now in now many people are attracted by the salary yes companies offering Full salary. Many companies, competitive companies, all are offering a full salary. Just if you work uh, six months or ten months, definitely other companies will. If you are uh, smart in the field, they will approach. Just for a five hundred rupees, just for a thousand rupees, don't keep on change the company. Work for company. I always insist. Work for a uh, profile. Your profile should be very strong. this profile will take you to next level don't see your package i can explain uh, my own uh, life i started my career as a medical representative i told you 2000 uh, may 4th i completed my graduation july uh, 27th i got a, a representative job uh, in uh, micro labs i was offered 30000 rupees per annum that means 2500 rupees per month 
that time 2500 rupees is a very big money for any uh, for like uh, middle class lower middle class kind of my kind of my kind of uh, person 2500 is a very big money so i joined as a medical representative that time 30000 rupees was my annual salary that means 2500 rupees seven and a half years i work with the same company i got a increment every year i i increment incentive i you know, improve my skill improve my everything 2008 i shifted from pharma to healthcare from medical representative to hospital sales representative i got a promotion promotion uh, as a regional manager i joined as a company called dr agarwal's group of eye hospital that time my salary is revised to 30000 rupees not per annum per month so from 30000 rupees per annum to 30000 rupees per month it took for me seven and a half years along with i got a promotion i got a uh, company provided house company provided car and uh, company offered a very good salary it for me took seven years time from uh, i joined as a regional manager i was taking care of rest of family from regional manager it took another eight years time to uh, revise my profile revise my package now i can demand uh, 30 lakhs per annum now i can demand 30 lakhs per annum that means 2.5 lakhs i can get salary now from 30000 to per annum 30000 rupees per month now 30 lakhs to my uh, annual package it's all because of my profile not because of package i become very strong in my profile now my package is looking at my profile not my uh, by my experience so always i always suggest to my uh, colleagues and friends look at the pack don't look at the package always prefer your profile improve yourself like this note i express my sincere thanks to the kmr uh, college for the wonderful opportunity mnr college i it's a great pleasure to mnr management uh, given a wonderful opportunity anything and always uh, our abdul kalam sir dreams in 2020 it's going to be a great year for indians yes absolutely pharmacy students pharma students uh, 2020 is a golden year it's definitely for other people yes it's a pandemic it's really affecting the world yeah but pharmacy students 2020 what abdul kalam sir dream it's absolutely is happening for especially for a pharmacy student if you dream dream is not what you see in sleep dream is something which does it let you sleep it's what dr abdul kalam sir said so 2020 is a gold time for the pharmacy students because of this pandemic situation because of the corona pharmacy students are the hot <laughs> huge opportunities are there and i wish you all the best anything dr saravanan thank you dr saravanan only sir yes sir yes sir you can you can conclude this yes, summarize so, this sir. okay this is the summarized report so good morning to all Mr. Mantana Gopal sir has given a wonderful information for the ocean of opportunities for pharma graduates. So even though we have a lot of departments like quality assurance, regulatory affairs, R&D, medical writing, and pharmacovigilance, so most of the all pharma graduates with higher education are preferring sales and marketing. So a lot of students, 5% preferring marketing. Why? Because there is increase in the growth in Indian pharma marketing. That is 12%. When compared to the global pharma marketing is 5.8%. And the marketing field is growing very fast. That is change in evaluation of hospitals. So as per the hospitals are increasing, the marketing is also increased. In this most pharma India, two areas are this sales and marketing. So, Mr. Mantana Gopal sir has explained a clear information on sales 
and I can explain who is medical representative areas and medical representative is a key role in the present market. Since there is a lot of opportunities in medical representative, so all the adjectives are getting attractive to the representative. And Mr. Mandala Gopal sir, Mr. Morali, your voice is breaking. Mr. Morali, your voice is breaking, breaking, sir. Okay, sir. Ah, now you try. Uh, I think Morali, you try with uh, Dr. Saran. And... Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. We are changing, sir. So, so, dear all the viewers, uh, I think uh, Mr. Madan Gopal have explained very well about the marketing. So, now I request uh, the participants to raise your hand for the any police to discuss with uh, Mr. Madan Gopal. If you raise your hand, uh, so I think um, we'll uh, unmute you, then you can uh, talk to Mr. Madan Gopal directly. So, whoever wishes to raise any queries, please raise your hand. We'll unmute you. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mr. Morali, if you are ready, you have already received some questions now, you can start putting. Are you ready with the questions? What you... Yes, sir. You have received in YouTube and uh, chat bus? Yes, sir. Mr. Morali, sir, yes, sir. are you ready with the questions that you have received? Yes, sir. Okay, you can put up the questions that you have received. Uh, Mr. Madan Gobal, sir, we have already received some of the questions yes. in the YouTube and uh, chat box. We'll put sure. up one by one. Please uh, clarify because in the YouTube, they cannot ask directly. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Uh, I can do put it. up the questions, please. In, in general marketing, sir, mostly yes. males are working are this. Okay. Yes, so sir. Is there any scope for females? If it is yes, means what are the areas, sir? Sir, huge scope uh, is available for uh, female. Uh, uh, yes, I, you, are, you are right. Sales is uh, mainly dominated by male uh, candidates. Definitely, female candidates are having a huge scope, especially in the uh, field of uh, uh, PMT, I told you, product management team, marketing department. Female uh, graduates are uh, most preferable uh, personalities and the TPA coordinators and the hospital sales representative, it's, it's again, uh, time limited will be there morning nine to six, nine to five. So female candidates all are most welcome. Sir, to join PMT, which masters is mandatory, sir? Marketing, uh, MBA with the marketing special session is all uh, good for the PMT. With work experience, ground level uh, sales experience, that will give added uh, uh, advantage. Nowadays, many people after their graduation, they will go to uh, MBA uh, regular colleges. Uh, they will go to, uh, they, are, they are joining as a uh, product management team. But I prefer, you, you three years, if you work as a medical representative, you will gain a numerous knowledge. Uh, re ground reality, you will understand. Along with the uh, uh, work experience, if you uh, do in a correspondence certificate, you, you are most uh, welcome. And uh, if the interviewer consider, if two people come for interview with uh, MBA fresher and uh, medical representative with the MBA qualification, the company will prefer uh, experience candidate with the MBA certificate. Marketing, preferably marketing, MBA specialization is good. Sir, in some of the university, yeah. Sir, when I go for interview, so what uh, type of questions I can expect from interview panel members, sir? Uh, it depends uh, for a sales uh, representative job. We always uh, talk about things with the family background. And uh, because now what happened, I explained, no? uh, many uh, other, special, other graduates are approaching this job. We will thumbly, as an interviewer, we completely thoroughly analyze their uh, uh, plan, what is their uh, family background, what is his uh, ambition, what is his future plan. 
we will analyze because many people time person they are coming and dominating the uh, sales representative job so we will thoroughly uh, interview mainly about their family background about their uh, uh, future goal and uh, ambition we always we, talk, we ask them to talk about their uh, personal skill sir what is the growth for mba hospital administration sir so and to what level we can grow a huge uh, scope like you can join as a executive if you work as a hospital in another 10 year you can be a ceo of the uh, hospital there are many industry many uh, departments are there uh, branding uh, hospital um, management sales uh, management uh corporate relations uh, management uh, government sector uh, i mean if, if you join us of private hospitals uh, there are different kind of uh, patients will come the patients come from uh, state government the patient comes from uh, central government the patient come from uh, psu if you join us a sales representative you can be uh, each uh, special uh, department you can cover after 2 3 years you can be a, a team leader after 4 3 3 4 years you can be a, a regional head maybe in another 10 years you can be a ceo of the hospital and pa- package invariably uh, very huge salary is offering by the hospital people uh, hospital industry from executive to manager to department head you can be promoted in a span of 5 to 8 year time one more student for joining yes. health insurance sector where uh, we should approach hospitals or any insurance company yeah so that, now i explained three kind of uh, opportunities one is hospital another one is uh, health insurance and the third one is uh, license officer but better you directly you approach in the health insurance companies if you for example if you are living in a small uh, town if you don't want to travel uh, to uh, town uh, for example varangal if you are native of varangal we want to work in a varangal itself but you can approach in a hospital big multi specialty hospital if you want to go to um, uh, bangalore chennai hyderabad uh, mumbai in that case you can approach uh, direct uh, uh, insurance companies it depends upon your uh, choice of work yes sir can a b pharmacy degree is enough to get a job as a M medical lab yes. sir very much very much uh, needed pharm d students sir what about pharm d students yeah, now right now i don't see any pharm d students are coming to the sales industry because uh, what we think is uh, over high qualified uh, as per the industry standard uh they instead of coming to uh, medical representative they can uh, go to uh, marketing pmt because there is a huge scope for the new mo- new molecule uh, identification there is a huge scope for the competitor analysis there is a huge scope for the clinical trial uh, uh, administration work instead of coming to medical rep- i i feel uh, instead of coming to sales representative job you can approach uh, pharma d student uh, can approach to uh marketing pmt department branding yes definitely sales representative job is open for all specialties all graduates sir in generally is there any sales pressure like that sir yeah sales pressure will be there definitely you have to accept for that only companies pay <laughs> you it's it's over the period you will uh, accommodate with the pressure it's not a big thing because i am into this industry even my hair is not fall fall every every where pressure will be that how you are going to take it that is where sir in marketing for promotion do we need any additional higher degrees hello sir hi madam sir sir uh, signal konja weaker ko 
in marketing for promotion do we need any additional higher degrees if you have additional uh, degree uh, well and good it's not compulsory if you have a qual- additional qualification it is uh, you can bypass other uh, candidates okay definitely you can bypass other candidates sir in marketing field whether the job is secured sir ah uh, it's very tough question <laughs> there, there is job security yeah. definitely job security will be there in pharma industry because if you have a constant work experience definitely company don't want to uh, resign uh, company never told anybody to resign the job Un- until otherwise there is a serious problem in the market so job certainty will be there sir in mba which course is better to join as a sales and department sir so now some of the universities they are offering pharmaceutical marketing pharmaceutical uh, analysis uh, uh, mba in uh, pharmaceutical marketing even normal marketing is more than sufficient if you want to more specific uh, specification you can join as a pharmaceutical marketing some of uh, mangalore university uh, they are offering uh, pharmaceutical marketing even uh, i believe annamal university also offering uh, pharmaceutical marketing certification sir what are the supports from association sir Uh, association means which kind of uh, uh, representative work? associations so 15 20 years before even 10 years before uh, pharmaceutical company that called uh, fmri right? they were very uh, active they have become very strong but nowadays it's diluted almost uh, and even the employees are not uh, uh, more involving to the uh, unionist worker it's almost diluted Sir, whether B farm degree is enough to join as a in the hospital sector, sir? Yes, more than sufficient. B farm that one degree is sufficient for the job. Parallelly, you have to improve your skill level thing. Sir, for uh, academic ex- if it, if anyone has having academic experience means it is considered as in PMT, sir. able to hello can you repeat please academic academic yes the very much the main role of uh, pmt is teaching uh, uh, educating the uh, educating to these uh, uh, field force so academic people are most welcome all our pharma graduates with useful information and the pharma graduates will take suggestions from start working towards profession sir thank you so i am request oh. sir madam sir sir there is ah, a yes. one personal question from, from my side. side yeah yeah please pharma 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 p
and i have to travel uh, so much so these yes. are all three points many of the pharmacists who hesitate to take the marketing correct can correct can you correct. comment on this uh, to overcome this uh, inhibition for, for the young graduates sir th this is the common problem for all not only for pharma pharmacy graduates sir for all any graduates this is the common uh, problem we we have to as a person as i am individual they have to uh, prepare for that those who are interested to travel those who are interested to earn uh, more money they have to come out uh, with this uh, situation sir pressure will be there yes it is not uh, untolerable it's kind of uh, work pressure like implementing the strategy collecting the data uh, increase the uh, customer coverage like kind this kind of pressure only not uh, uh, what the media what what other uh, they are projected it is pressure will be there but not like uh, other industries sir and the second thing uh, travel yes sir whether uh, like it or do likely or anything we have to travel sir because now uh, earlier on medical 10 15 years before medical representative they used to cover only uh, two to three districts for example uh, chennai person they will work only in chennai now the pharma company itself uh, they divided into many divisions sir they become a dietology division they become a ophthalmology division they become a dermatology division so uh, for any medical representative they used to have around 150 to 200 doctors in their list this is the normal standard for any pharma company sir if you have a general products you can uh, uh, keep your doctor list within your territory but my specialty is ophthalmology but my my specialty is dermatology in a city maximum 50 to 40 uh, 50 to 100 you want big uh, cities like hyderabad you can have around uh, uh, 100 to 50 to 100 dermatologists for uh, other to cover up the other uh, territory you have to travel sir because the industry is grown uh, in horizontally sir specialty wise now divided sir companies so to meet up the customers they have to travel uh, many places yes sir and uh, dr saravanan i think if you are uh, i can dr uh, saravanan uh, yes yes dr saravanan sir for now i have to sir but echo no sir still it is okay, not okay. clear i will check and i will come echo can i think somebody is open nearby your uh, this thing we were talk talk yeah. about ana yeah. were talked about ana ug and ana b pharmacy students and ana mps yes. students what are all the scopes and opportunities correct are correct correct the marketing and sales okay. yes sir yeah. as i am a doctorate yes. that i am having ana curiosity that yes. if we have ana doctorate or phd degree is there any scope is there and what is the entry point or what the base level work we people have to do micro labs uh, division called micro vision Uh, president the qualification is m pharm phd he was uh, uh, three years he was working as a medical representative and after uh, he pursuing mba and he was working in a reputed hospital i mean college as a professor later on he joined as a uh, pharmaceutical company sales now he is uh, heading the division and he is handling almost 400 crore company definitely dr saravanan there is a huge scope for mba with uh, phd that will give added uh, value for the management uh, sir uh, okay mba with me uh, phd is okay sir in case if i am having an m pharmacy qualification yes, yes, after yes. that if i am having an uh, phd is there is there uh -huh. we have an any entry point is there if we have means what whether we have can get an opportunity in uh, product management team or what type of the things are how we can approach you have a huge scope in uh, pmt department you are heading the marketing department okay. you can be uh, heading the marketing department you can give a periodical training you can assist under under you there will be around 100 people will report to you uh, uh, executive level pmt department you can heading the uh, marketing pmt department okay 
okay okay sir so uh, it's an uh, again an a uh, curiosity only i'm asking what please, may please. be the package if i am completed my phd and if i am entering in that uh, Uh, now our uh, industry standards it's go up to uh, 15 to 20 lakhs per annum now uh, current pmt head position okay. that thing it comes around 1.25 to uh, 1.6 uh, per annum per per month 1.25 lakhs to 1.6 lakhs per month okay. and you, you, you and again you have to travel many cities not only towns you have to travel you, you have to travel to almost all the uh, capital of uh, states you have to travel not only district you have to travel many states uh, you have to conduct a meeting you have to conduct, you, you have to prepare for the traveling not only towns not only districts you have to travel uh, madhya pradesh you have to travel to uh, indore you have to travel to kerala you have to you have to ready travel to hyderabad all the places you have to travel at least monthly uh, 15 days to 18 days you have to be in uh, tour okay okay uh, thank you sir yes, go. yeah yes, thank you yes sir yes, i was also an ana when i was also started my career as a medical representative only i was worked as a medical representative for an 3 years later only i was join my uh, m pharmacy and followed by an phd and i came into an academic field so i have hmm. an uh, some basic things uh, what the thing uh, what what we have to do for an entry in ana sales and marketing and you enlighten ana many things for ana young pharma yes. graduates those who don't know uh, what the basic things they have to do and what the scope is there in that sales and marketing yes and uh, one of our student uh, candidates asked uh, d ah. prasanna kumari is there any entrance exam to get a seat in mba college for ana b pharmacy students Uh, no there, there is a state level uh, uh, mat kind of examination they have to appear um, i am not clear about that i am not uh, uh, sure about that but the state level uh, there is a for tamil nadu there is a, a mat uh, uh, kind of examination will be there they have to appear and they have to uh, pass yes, yes yes sir i think hope uh, our principal sir can answer this particular questions like for pharmacy graduate higher studies for uh, mba also there is the state level entrance the or we can appear for the national level entrance thereby we'll get stipend so and uh, we'll get admission like in iim and all yes so it's all up to us we have to prepare for the exam and then uh, we can we have to clear and again like gpat if you clear how we are getting gpat and admission in the premier institutions we can get admissions in the iim uh, type of institutions then your life is entirely different even not even uh, the uh, we are talking and sadar gopal and we are that entire status is uh, different from uh, than what we discussed so, so the students who are uh, preparing for the mba you try national level if you are unable to succeed then try for the national or state level entrances then if you are unable to succeed then they approach some of the university directly and get it clear and those who are already uh, wish to earn are like mr madan gopal openly told uh, we the middle class or below the middle class people so after the b pharmacy we are in a position to support the family so we have to go for the job and get the salary that's what he could get only 2500 rupees uh, almost 3000 per month because of the field that he is in marketing so uh, within 7 years he can made into 10 times that is 30000 uh, he got it after 7 years that to during this 7 years he must have struggled a lot that is the ground ground work we can say this ground work is in common in all the field like if you take teaching the first 7 years of your suppose your faculty joined with a, a lecturer qualification you if you do the phd if your family is not supporting then you do the part time phd get it phd prove yourself in that institution so definitely in the 7 years you can jump at least the 50% salary no college or no department can get uh, that is kind of that is uh, 10% sorry uh, you can you cannot uh, get the salary like market sales and marketing because sales and marketing is fetching uh, uh, higher earning there is some little uh, pressure pressure mean definitely the if the company grows it will give the share to the employees 
if you are working like in the college 9 to 10 i will take class after 2 uh, to 3 uh, hours i don't have class up to 230 means then in marketing how the sales will be improved so why we are getting higher salaries in the marketing means because monthly we are showing the progress every month the company's growth depends on the sales and marketing team not on the research and development whatever the research and development ultimately we do if the sales and marketing team if it is not working the company cannot grow so the company may not uh, give you the better salary i think all of you may be knowing the example of toothpaste the company have done all the sort of research for improving the research once upon there was a stagnant in the uh, sales though no improvement so company is not trying to offer any higher uh, salaries but the team that is sales and marketing team are the uh, marketing promotional team has given suggestion will increase the mouth size of the toothpaste so once what happen if you improve the tooth size mouth of the so of the toothpaste packet whoever click ones so whatever we are getting if we suppose conversion mean 125% will come out so automatically so the sales of the the toothpaste will increase in 25% without doing any research or without doing any other expenditure so straight away 25 percentage of the sales is increased so the company has got 25 percentage of the profit definitely it will give to the marketing team first rather than to the research and development it may be looking as a best department that we feel uh, research and development but ultimately for earning the uh, higher salary the sales and marketing team i think i uh, in the uh, career of not only in pharmacy any uh, of the uh, field i think mr madan gobal will agree whatever i mentioned am i exactly 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 correct sir the simple idea can change the many many lives sir exactly what you told is correct sir so that's why my dear young graduates you think over it where there is a, a growth eh? there will be always a work pressure it's not don't take it as a pressure as long as if you don't like it is a pressure yes correct you exactly sir you are getting higher salary this month you are getting 10000 next year you are getting 15000 mean from where we get the 5000 company will give you based on the sales that we have they have got it or the profit they got it they will not give it from their their own uh, uh, that is um, capital amount so they give it from the uh, improved sales that they are getting they are giving like one share to the marketing especially because they are only the enhancing the um, um, that is profit of the company they are first taking care of the marketing so we can feel that uh, marketing team only taken care than the any other department in the pharma industry so my dear young graduates you can think over it and uh, uh, you can proceed but you see if you don't like to travel if you don't like to meet the people or if you don't like to uh, mingle with people this job may not be good but once you are ready to travel and if you are ready to take risk on ready to explain like mr madan gobal you can get the 100 times better salary than what he, he was getting in the initial of the career this 100 times salary you cannot get it in the any other department am i correct sir exactly sir exactly 100 percentage sir uh, so whatever uh, you are your academically good uh, or your research wise good this 100 percent uh, hike in salary cannot be get so you think um, the this ambition may come from not only your base uh, sometime your bam family background may in need to earn money then work for your family five years you work uh, then you think of you are interest then you do some any mba all these thing then after 5 years you can go to the mom that is in the managerial level so you are not in the sales and marketing you are in the higher position then you can it's not like that sales representative or marketing executive so once you are going to the higher level you are like a managerial level so there is a field only 5 years you have to do the ground work then you can sit in the upper chair and you can so these opportunities you should think everywhere pressure is there even for example i say teaching uh, teaching uh, uh, is to the students is easy we feel if suppose if your students do not like your class 
they will start uh, making noise in the class this is also a pressure because you are not teaching well the students are shouting and you are getting the pressure suppose if you teach well because why you teach well you like the job though you prepare well and you are teaching students are also accepting you are also becoming good so there is no pressure so when you are taken this any field if you start loving it's not a pressure suppose if your students are not making noise that is pressure is more than anything because in marketing maybe few people may be pressurizing you but here 100 people are pressurizing you so so your interest whatever the field choose and this is one of the field marketing so that's why we are called mr madan gobal is one of the live example you could get uh, 100% uh, higher salary the, that example if you say you may be some of the things uh, some of the students may uh, opt for the sales and marketing that's why we tell one of the questions already asked sir some of the if you are not clearing the interview so what should we do for next the uh, uh, like that one question came from one uh, student now only in the chat box i can mm -hmm. say uh if you are not cleared with the interview uh, maybe in the second day of the conference i told uh, when i wrote on research paper that uh, editor have uh, written 100 comments in one page i felt frustrated after one week i have taken that paper i have started answering one by one so you should uh, answer for the mistakes that you have done or you should uh, uh, clear your inabilities or you start answering that you don't know till now then you will be next interview you will be uh, tensor or suppose if you are not fit for one field you change the another department maybe if you are not good for the teaching you go for the marketing or you go to the pharma industries like mr madan gopal i can say uh, very well after m pharmacy pharmaceutical chemistry generally nobody will go for the production team in the pharma company because pharmaceutical chemistry means doing research in the uh, that is chemical reactions by one of my classmates have joined in the kedila healthcare i can say in ahmedabad after we i did my mpharm in ahmedabad so he got joined in after production he joined he worked day and night, day and night. so two shift at minimum he will do that too because after mpharm as a bachelor he don't do anything in working room he say he do to um, that is duties so what happened by observing his dedication he became the manager in the production team in the kedila healthcare now in kedila there was one of the they have acquired one company in us it was going in the last he has been transferred to us to take care of the company to build up back you see m pharm pharmaceutical chemistry person is doing the production because he feel now i am fit for the production so now he is excellent he is more than 100 times or 2000 times he is earning so let us all we should understand our interest based on that if you choose the our career definitely we can uh, come up so i think uh, if no more questions or if you any, any more to say mr madan gobal in this context I wish you very all the best, sir. I think we we'll open up a right uh, topic. It's ah, uh, it depends upon okay, the okay, individual, sir. You have to work hard. Big dream, big. Yes, sir. Some of so uh, let us say, then I think uh, whatever about the marketing, we have got a good idea from uh, Mr. Madan Gopal. still thank you sir if you uh, are any of the participants wanted to have any clarification in future also please write us and we'll share the uh, contact details of mr madan gobal you can directly yes. contact him or yes, we sir. can contact the organizers we are ready to help not only our uh, college student even other college students also you can come forward we are all uh, together we are all yes. the pharmacists so definitely we are working for the uh healthcare team will do well in the coming days especially in the corona so we'll uh, we take let us take uh, safety measures be uh, uh, safe and uh, dr saravanan can you share the uh, that is virtual uh, memento uh, mr madan gobal uh, kindly accept our uh, this small okay. virtual memento in order to appreciate your uh, uh, that is uh, sparing your valuable time so in this uh, you, that is we could not because you are also could not 
but uh, kindly accept this virtual moment also and and uh, be in touch within the future uh, time also we will invite you after uh, some time and for the physically to the next uh, conference so sure. thanks a lot for accepting our invitation and doing a wonderful job to Thank our for uh, young pharma graduates who Thank are you, looking sir. for the better career in the uh, days thank you very much thanks a lot thank you very much thank you very much sir thank you very much it's a great opportunity sir so i think thank you sir dr saravanan we can sign up sir yes sir thank you one and all for the uh, joining in this uh, uh, great sessions uh, madana gopal sir and personally i was very thankful thank you dr sir for our invitations and uh, delivered on a very good session to our students as well as for an all young pharma graduates thank, thank you, you so much thank you so much dr sir it's my great pleasure and honor thank you sir